Hey, what's up, guys? It's Michael McAllister. This week, we've got a few really cool updates to share with you from Go High Level. So stay tuned. Your GHL weekly breakdown is coming right up. All right, let's get the first minor update out of the way. The first update is going to be uh, custom fonts are now available inside of blogs. So if you're using Go High Level to create a blog or host a blog, you now have the ability to choose from, I believe they said 1500 plus fonts um, to use within that blog. I imagine that comes with some more text formatting changes that uh, will benefit from um, just off the top of my head. So cool, a cool update, but a minor one nonetheless. All right, the next update on our list is the date time formatter now available inside of workflows. This is a premium workflow action. Um, so we've talked about premium workflow triggers and actions and how Go High Level is kind of making a push to uh, allow people to replace Zapier in a lot of ways. This is one more way that you can now replace Zapier. It used to be, in fact, as recently as a week ago, uh, we suffered from this issue where we had to redirect a, a webhook from going directly directly into go high level to going to a zap so that we could format the date and then send it to go high level. Well, as soon as this announcement came out, I told Jason, uh, who originally created that workflow or created that zap, um, that we could fix it. And now we could go directly in here and use the date time formatter. Um, so that's pretty cool. Uh, we're excited about that. Take a look at what it looks like. All right, so in here, uh, we have a workflow triggered by an appointment. And this workflow, uh, so because it's triggered by an appointment, obviously this there's going to be a date associated with this workflow. Um, you see the premium, how it's gold right there. I'll show you how you add that. It's gonna show up right here, date time formatter. Um, so you can use this to either compare dates. So say uh, you wanna be able to say if this date is, le is uh, before this predefined date, then send this workflow action. But if it's after this date, then send this action. Again, really cool feature there. That's uh, it built into this date time formatter. But uh, the the primary benefit that you're going to get out of this is if you're sending dates into Go High Level, you can tell Go High Level this is the format that that date is in, and then tell them this is the date format that I want it to be in, and it'll translate that for you. So again, really cool feature that's going to allow you to uh, eliminate Zapier in just one more use case. All right, speaking of workflows, we've got some workflow uh, infrastructure updates along with some folder uh, UI changes, some organization changes that go along with a lot of the changes they've been making lately around uh, custom fields and some other, other things that I can't think of off the top of my head. Um, but they've now done this with not only workflows, but with forms and surveys as well. Check this out. All right, so now we we have had the ability to organize uh, workflows into folders, but now we also have the ability to see when these were last updated and sort by when uh, workflows were last update. Also introduced is this new filter ability, being able to see what, uh, being able to filter the workflows by draft or published. Um, and I imagine there'll be some other filters that'll be available down the road. Um, another really cool thing with this is if we go, First off, I'll show you the recent feature. If I click recent, it's gonna show me an order of uh, when it was last updated, which is a really cool feature. It's a pain in the ass when you're building out workflows um, to have to go in and navigate to the workflow that you were just working on um, and, and find it within the folders or whatever. It's a pain in the ass. So this is a really cool thing from somebody who's in here a lot. Um, but the other cool thing is now you can draft workflows from directly within this list. This new drop, this drop down menu over here is completely new um, and gives you a short list of functions that you'll probably want to do. If you aren't already using these, um, you probably will use these functions more often now that they are more convenient for you. So this is really good. They've done the same thing with forms and surveys. So I won't spend as much time on that, but essentially you've got these three dots that give you a couple actions that are, are quicker to access than they were. And then you have the ability to sort your forms and your surveys based on what was most recently updated. So again, that's forms, same thing over here in surveys. So this is cool because they're basically making the UI consistent across all of the different modules. As a business owner, it's cool to see the way that they're going about improving the product, seeing them kind of iterating through things that need, you know, that should be updated and, and being selective about where they're sending their resources based on what we as users need. Um, again, just, just really cool to see. Um, really excited about some of these updates that they're implementing. Uh, really excited to share them with you. All right, last change that uh, we have 
have to announce is the ability to share restricted snapshots. This is really cool. We d we do not have a use case for it yet. We aren't using it yet. Um, however, it does give us a little bit more incentive to get into the business of sharing snapshots, of selling snapshots, of creating snapshots that are specific to a loan officer's use case, and then being able to share that with them on a restricted use, uh, and then make it worth it for us to try and monetize that. Up up to this point, it's been like, well, what's the point in creating snapshots to get to to sell if that person can just go and sell it or give it to all their buddies or whatever um, and and that's a protectionist way of thinking we typically don't operate with that mindset I don't recommend it um, but there is something psychologically that's shifted a little bit in my head where they've said hey now we're going to give you the ability to say I want to share this snapshot with only this location so um, stay tuned you might see more from us around that um, but outside of that guys that is all of all that I've got for you, all of your updates from the past week. Um, I hope you enjoyed. I hope uh, that you're getting something out of this and, and that you are uh, paying attention and, and watching every single one of these because these updates, it's crazy the amount that go high level ads on a weekly basis that can help you and your business. Um, but until next week, thanks for watching. We'll see you at the top.